Creating custom templates is important if you're wanting to develop information from your model to either develop a quantity takeoff or send this information out to build your estimate. We'll go over how we can create your own template with the information you want and how we can send this information out to Excel. Let's go over how we can create a report template. If we go to the settings in the top right, we're going to click on that plus template and we can type in what our property template name is going to be. We'll name this concrete estimate and we can either base it on the current template or just create it from scratch. So on the left side under the properties, we can search for properties like name, drag it over to the column so we can add that information into our template. So I search volume, add that, add that in. I can add another column and drag area over there. We can choose the unit types in the columns or what sort of values we want to see when we combine information. I'll type in profile and add that over into my column data as well. You can also add custom information to help with your takeoff and estimation. I added in an estimate information tab on my concrete objects so I could add in an estimate category and a unit type so I can export this information out with my report. So we would define that in an objects.imp file. So first, after we create that objects.imp file, we'll go to create a new property and we'll give it a name, uda-estimate category, and this property name is going to be named exactly like it is in your objects.imp file. Once I create that, it'll be available in my properties list and it'll be linked to this template. I can rename it in the column so it just says estimate category. Let's go over another example of creating a formula. Let's create a formula called volume with 15% waste. So we can search a property and we can do a math operation to those properties. So I can multiply my volume times 1.15. So now I can base my estimate or get quantities off of a wastage factor. I can add a new column in and just drag that over. And now I have that in my report. I can also use the organizer template to find missing data. So I could select this information in the model that doesn't have an estimate category or a unit type assigned with it. I can see that that was the case for my walls. So I'll pull up the properties, pull up the UDAs for those walls, go to my estimate information tab. Now I can modify those. And once I synchronize my organizer, that information should be updated. So now my information is complete for all of my concrete objects. We can drag the column data up to the top of our organizer. And so we can break it down by your estimate category, whatever property you want to group your objects by. You can also colorize our model based on those groups. If we want to send this data out to Excel, let's go to the top and click on the arrow out to Excel, hit export. Now we have that information in an Excel document where you can import it to an external software or export to your bidding sheets.